Hello and welcome to today's Python tutorial. Today we are going to talk about string constants in Python. So a constant is used to define a fixed value in a variable, something that cannot be modified later. So a Python string module contains some built-in string constants that can be used for various purposes such as validation or, I don't know, making password generators. Now, here are some of them. Well, actually all of them. So there are nine. Let me just go over them quickly. So first of all, you need to import string module, which is the Python built-in module. And I've just created some variables here. Low char for lowercase, up char, uppercase. Now this is the constant now. String dot ASCII underscore lowercase gives you all the lowercase letters in the English alphabet. So if I run this, look at this here. So this is what ASCII lowercase gives me. String dot ASCII lowercase. For uppercase letters, you have these. You don't need to manually type in all the letters if you need them. And for a combination of the lowercase and uppercase, you have string dot ASCII underscore letters. So it simply concatenates the lowercase with the uppercase. And it gives you this. For numbers, digits from 0 to 9 you have a string dot digits like this and for special characters it's called punctuation here string dot punctuation and you have all these special characters then you have hexadecimal digits string dot hex digits that is from 0 to 9 and then from a to f a to f then you also have octal digits that is uh, string dot arc digits 0 to 7 then we have white space, so a string of white space. It contains all the white space here. That is, new lines, tabs, uh, indentation, vertical uh, tabs. Then you also have printables. So a string dot printables gives you all of these that you saw there. That is, letters, digits, special characters, and white space as well. So let me get rid of this for now. And let's just do something very quick with it. So let's say we want to uh, create a password generator using all these. I don't need to type in the alphabet letters or digits or characters there. So what I need to do is simply define some variables. For example, let's say that I want to grab um, I don't know, three characters for, from the lowercase and four digits, for instance. How do I do that? randomly so what i can do i would say low uh, num for example that is number of um, lowercase letters and i can go through this low char and pick two randomly how can i do that python gives me two options one is to go through random choice and for that we need to import random module here as well in order to use it now, random the choice, I can give it a name of a string or a list, for example, lowchar, and it would give me only one random character from that. But maybe I want to specify one more. So for that, I need to use random.sample. So here I would say from lowchar, and I want three characters, three random characters. Now let's go also for the digit. So let's just call it dig num equals, and let's repeat the same thing here, but this time from dig char, dig char. Um, what is dig char here? So digits from zero to nine. I want three digits, random digits. So if I print, and let's just concatenate them. Let's just call it, I don't know, pass, uh, pass num for instance equals it uh, is the combination the concatenation of low num and dig num that is concatenation of this and that and if I print pass num what happens I get a list look at this here rgu that is lowercase 870 digits cool but I also want to shuffle them. I don't want them to be in order like this. I want to shuffle them. 
So for that, I can create another variable. But for now, let's just uh, not do that. So I just need to say a random dot shuffle. And I want to shuffle what? Uh, pass num. Now if I, uh, no. so here, OK, now you see, now this is in random. So 7x4zl8, cool. What if I, but this is in a list, I want to kind of make him like in a string together. I don't want anything in between them. I want to connect them. So for connecting them, let's just uh, create another variable call it password, which is the final thing. I want to connect them using no spaces, nothing, nothing. And I want to join them, of course. I want to join which list? The pass num list that we just created, put it here. So I'm connecting, I'm joining all these elements using, well, no space. They should be connected together. And now let's just grab password and print it. Let's see what happens. Look at this. Very fast, very quick. But there is one thing. I've specified three characters myself here. I want the user to tell me how many. So what I can do is go here and say uh, low equals input and since input gives me a string of a number I have to put it into an integer so input uh, let's say a lower case for example and then let's say dig for digits let's repeat the same thing here and instead of lowercase like digits so how many digits how many lowercase and instead of the numbers now, I get what the user gave me. There is low here. And this one would be dig, something that the user gives me. Now, if I run this, lowercase, let's say I want five lowercase. How many digits? Four digits. This is a password. Very easy and fast. So that was one thing. Another thing is to validate a piece of text. For example, I want to check if a piece of text has, I don't know, uh, numbers in it. So for that, let's get rid of this for now. So for that, I would say, uh, let's say we have this variable text and text is going to be what the user inputs, something like, okay, text. And then I wanna check for every character, for I in text, that is for every character in text, whatever the user gives me, for every character in it, check if that I, that character, is in what? Is in uh, digits, string digits, dig char. So if that character is in the digits, is in numbers, I should print something wrong. For example, let's just have another variable, call it error here. Error and error for now is going to be uh, false. So if that happens, if that character is include uh, is in the uh, digits, change the error from false to true, something like that. Now else, um, well, continue nothing actually. Now we should say now if if error is indeed true. What should happen? Print, oops, there is a number, else, print, no number. Good. Now let's see what happens. So if I run this text, let's just put something without any number in it. So this is no, something like that. Enter, no number, cool. Let's run this again, text. This is one, and I put one here, as you can see, or zero. Oops, there is a number. So you see, this is a very cool way to uh, validate. Now, can you also do some more projects yourself? For example, generate a password with more characters here, or add some more validation. Thank you for watching and listening.